Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be using Windows 2000 in 2023. Before we start using Windows 2000, I want to mention that it's already came that it already came with this with the computer we're going to use it on and it's an old computer. And, and well, if you would look at that, it's the gateway that I made an acquisition video on. I have to make an overview video about. It. I want to talk about about this unit. This computer is a gateway E2100 or all that this right here is and I'll, well this is a monitor which I use for like all my old computers now, this computer has an Intel Celeron, and well, the only thing that should be noted about this computer is that I have to get the CMOS battery but placed in it because the one that's in it is dead. I also want to mention that there are some programs which I put on here, being VLC Media Player, 7-Zip, and Scratch 3 alongside Hypercam 2, but we're not going to cover those. There's also Microsoft Works and Microsoft Office on here and Microsoft Money 2001, but Microsoft Office 2000 is is gonna get its own video in the future. So yeah, let's start this thing up. Now I have to go around here and turn the machine on. In three, two, one. And uh, now we have, and uh, yeah, this is gonna gateway. I wanna make sure that I'm doing it when it's 2000. I am. And yeah, this may be a little stressful on my arms. Uh, so I hope it's worth it. It probably isn't. Windows 2000 Professional built on NT technology. Starting up. Yeah. Why is it made in 1999? Uh, I told you that already in the acquisition video I made on this computer. Oh, right. Besides, I've noticed that you've been quite more quiet in my videos recently. Steel 64. Anything up with that? Not really. It's just that I don't usually have any major talking points in your videos nowadays. Right. We're on the login screen. We'll just hit enter. Windows 2000 startup sound. Although it's technically the logon sound. And well, yeah. In case you were wondering what is this background, I found it in System 32. And I think it looks nice. What's that error? Uh, well, it has to do with Microsoft Works Calendar. And well, WKSCal.exe has generated errors and will now be closed by Windows. You will need to restart the program. An error log is being created. Just hit enter. So yeah, on the desktop, we have a few different programs. And although the only ones that we really want to be interested in would be Internet Explorer and Windows Media Player. Now, with Internet Explorer, even though this computer does not have any internet connection because it does not have a Wi-Fi adapter and I do not have an Ethernet port ready or dial-up modem that I can use to connect this thing to the internet. I'm probably breaking the rules a little bit here, but I'm still going to use Internet Explorer. But how? There's no websites you can use on it, Nathan. Uh, well, are you exactly sure about that? Because thanks to this program, Microsoft Front Page, I created a website. I have all the files for the website on this computer, and as a result, we can pretty much bend the rules a little bit when, when with Internet Explorer. Because if you've never seen my content, you know that Internet Explorer, well, it doesn't really like to work. Let's... Does anyone want to Handle see if this actually loads? Handles? Bruh. There is a problem Baba boy. with a security... Continue to this website. Certificate error. View certificate. Coverage expired because it's. And it says it's valid. If only I could end up using tools and options. Don't show this error. Um. Oh dear, I don't want to make. That mistake. W, W, W. Bruh. The page cannot be displayed. The page you are looking for is currently 
is. Yeah, it doesn't usually work. It's not very good at displaying websites. Because literally no website except for the Legacy Update website supports Internet Explorer anymore. And even still, I can't go on to the Legacy Update website. But yeah, we do not have an internet connection. Network cable is unplugged. But enough of rambling, let's actually start doing stuff on here. So where do we even start? Or where do we even begin with? Well, let's just have Winver. Microsoft Windows version 5.0. Build 2195 Service Pack 4. Copyright 1981 to 1999 Microsoft Corp. And that's because Windows 2000 was released to manufacturing on like, uh, what was it again, Nathan? Uh, Steel 64, it was released to manufacturing on like December 15th, 1999, if I remember correctly. If you thought Windows XP was Windows 5, no, it's Windows 5.1. And yeah, this is technically 504 megabytes. So now what do we do? Programs. I think we're going to start with Notepad. So yeah, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure you all have used Notepad before on Windows. I am not sure what to type here. E. That's it. Just the letter E. Better than nothing. Yes. And the text in the untitled file has changed. Do you want to save the changes? Yes, no, or we'll cancel. No, we're not gonna. And then let's go to programs and paint. That seems very classic of a very simple and classic thing for me to make. And it makes sense because this is Emmett, because you're using MS Paint. Yes. At least it's better than what I, at least it's better than the drawing I did in Windows Vista in 2022 part one. Yeah. Save changes to Untitled? No! So yeah, we're not gonna cover every single program that there's to offer. Address book I might cover in this video because it was, because if you didn't see the Windows XP video in 2022 video, I do not recall actually using the address book. And with the calculator, you pretty much just decide to drop the ball with the calculator and just bring out your KI-84. Yeah, and it actually works, and and then in Windows 95, I, in 2022, I tried to use a calculator, but it just, but Windows 95 it just said no. Although, I noticed that I accidentally put in the third floppy disk for Windows 95 build 499 instead of the RTM third floppy when it has third floppy disk, so that may have had some consequences as I, as I literally couldn't use any program on that because version of on Windows 95 in that video because all of them kept on performing illegal operations. So yeah. Yes, my favorite number, 256. Okay, that's enough. Let's go 16 divided by 4 is 4. Oh, wow, that actually... How'd that work that time? 9 plus 10... Uh, no, what? No! Wait, oh, wait, let's see. And that is proof that 9 plus 10 does not equal 21. It's probably a joke... He would have Nathan would have made when I ran the channel, but I didn't because I didn't really know that was about that joke. So yeah, so command prompt is well command prompt. Let's type in dir. Whoa! That command originated in MS DOS and is probably still in Windows. Imaging, imaging for Windows. I have no idea what this is. So yeah, we're covering the accessories first. We could do, but with the games on here, I might just make a gaming channel I make or put or just oh wait no the games you can make an extras channel video for them yeah steel 64 that was exactly what I was about to say so yeah synchronize no we are not gonna do that and then there's wordpad which is basically a trimmed down version of Microsoft Word that you can use on your computer and then there's all this stuff there's not really anything that really matters to you but we can go into Outlook Express it no no, I do not want to do that. I have a feeling it's gonna try and... But yeah, when is... It's Outlook Express. I've used... It's basically just Outlook, except it only has the email. I don't really recall using this very much in Windows XP. But yeah, you can see this is all of the stuff that you can... Outlook Express, the solution to for all of your messaging needs. The reason why I've never really covered Outlook Express or Microsoft Outlook in general, it's not very helpful for me. I'm not really support anymore. But but yeah, we need to pick up the speed on this video. This is a video clip I've pre-recorded in Hypercam 2. It's 1 FPS. This is Windows Media Player, and yeah, you can see the Hypercam window. I used to use Hypercam to record my videos back in, way back in 2019. 
So yeah, let's just exit out of that. I usually use, I also have VLC media player, but then, well, you know. We have all of these things, which I'm not gonna use, but we're gonna go into my documents, my webs. So yeah, we have Internet Explorer. And now, yeah, this is a website that I made. And it was made in front page. We're not gonna do anything else. But then we have blessing. We're gonna do address book. Main identities contacts. And pretty much this was the contacts. This was basically Windows contacts before Windows contacts. With this computer, I can either use address book, which has an icon which doesn't really fit in with the rest of the OS, or I can use Microsoft Outlook 2000. I use Office 2000, because it's an easier way for me to flex that I have the premium license of Office 2000, except it's missing Microsoft Publisher. I don't know what happened to Microsoft Publisher, as I said. And there's no files for Microsoft Publisher 2000 on here. So yeah, I also do not know if this video is gonna cause any storage issues with my new phone so yeah we're gonna have to go and just shut down so shut down yeah you, it, the this monitor has some interesting things to it such as that mark i don't know if that's burning so yeah and that was windows 2000 in 2023 thanks for watching this video i will see you next week bye